Let's draw the phalanges. All right, let's first trace our hands. Once we finish, we're going to divide each finger into three equal parts, each part getting progressively bigger. All right, except the thumb, that's going to be into two parts. And we're ready to draw the bones, the phalanges. First, we're going to start with the tip of the fingers. These are called the distal phalanx. There we go. Now we're going to go for the uh, middle ones. So not too big, not too small, so middle size. These are called the middle phalanx. So just a little longer than the ones previously. All these bones are going to get progressively uh, bigger or longer. Just like this one. The next one's going to be even longer. This is called the proximal phalanx. So a little bit longer. Make it look like bones. All right, now by the wrist, let's do a reference kind of like a shape of a football. It's going to help us guide us for the next set of bones. Each of these bones, which are the longest, I'm going to kind of radiate from that uh, football shape. These are called the metacarpals. They're kind of, you see, like fanning out from that section. Okay. I don't have that much space, so I'm going to make this one kind of overlapping the other one. But I'm not really supposed to. But really, bones don't touch each other. If they did, it would hurt. That's what's known as arthritis. All right, we're ready to draw the wrist bones. These kind of look like pebbles right inside that shape that we drew that looked like a football. The correct term will be the carpal bones. And let's fit it up. All right, now we're gonna do the bones for the arms. One is called the radius and the other one is called the ulna. And there you have it. Now for the bonus round. Let's draw just the hands. All right, kind of the same thing we did before. We're gonna divide it, but more wrinkly, progressively getting bigger and bigger. Now you know everybody has kind of like an M um, in the palm of their hand, so we're gonna do that. Let's draw this curve that goes all the way down by the bottom of the thumb. Another little curve and a slash in the middle, connect it for the M. Look at your hand, doesn't it kind of look like that? Told you. Well, that's pretty much it. Bye. Peace.